special because it's rush week. If you didn't know, I'm in Rosa Aida, which is a pre-health sorority, and I am the internal vice president. So it's rush week, which is super exciting. We have rush in the fall and spring. I'm very excited to take you along this week. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to be able to film, but I'm hoping to do like a little inside look into rush week. So today's Monday, we have info night tonight. And then tomorrow we've got meet and greet. Thursday, we've got community service and Friday, we've got professional development. So yeah, it should be fun. It's also going to be kind of like a week in my life sort of thing. It just happens to be rush week. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm on my way to school right now. On today's agenda, we've got work from 8 to 10, and then I've got a bio exam at 10.30, which I am very nervous for, so I will be studying during work. And then after that, I've got Spanish at 11.45 and neuroethics. Then after neuroethics, I might pop home. Actually, I think I am. I'm gonna pop home. I'm gonna put my brush shirt on and I'm gonna make myself dinner and then head back for info night. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet all of the new girls. It's just so much fun. And I, if you didn't know, I used to be the brush chair I was last year. So I ran it, which was really difficult, but fun. So now it's like, it's so much better that I don't have to run it. <laughs> just sit there and be a part of it but anyways yeah I've convinced a lot of my friends to rush so I'm very excited and I hope they actually do it <laughs> but also I'm excited to get a ton of freshmen um, and sophomores too because we just lost a huge part of our sorority because they graduated last year because they were all seniors so we need to repopulate the sorority so It's now 5.33. Um, I popped home after my last class to eat some dinner. I forgot to show you guys, but I made these little like mini beef tacos from Trader Joe's. They're gluten-free and they're really good. They're pretty plain though, so I always like stuff them with um, jalapeno cheese. Um, but they're really good, yeah. So I have the first rush event tonight, uh, info session at 7.30. But I think I'm gonna go now. We have a roadside study hour every Monday from six to seven. So I think I'm gonna go and study with some roadsides and get some work done because I have a big project that's due tonight that I totally forgot about. So yeah, today was pretty good. It was really overcast and cloudy, which I didn't really like, but what can you do, honestly? Um, my exam, I don't know if I told you guys, I think I did, but I had an exam first period and I think it went pretty well. I was kind of, I was really nervous about it because I didn't know if it was going to be hard or easy. Um, it ended up kind of being in the middle. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't, it wasn't super easy. I took the whole time basically. But yeah, that was done and then I went to Spanish and I was just working on other things really because I am also the PR chair on the exec board of health professions peer advising. So I have responsibilities for that on top of ROSI and I send out a weekly newsletter to all pre-health students every week. 
and my newsletter was just like not working so i had to troubleshoot for a while it was supposed to go out at 9 a.m but it went out around noon because i couldn't focus on it before the test and then the test went until 11 30 and then i had class at 11 45 so i kind of just it went out on noon but Troubleshooting. Anyways, uh, after that, me and Emma went to Skitty. Well, I had a really good lunch. Uh, I got pasta with Alfredo and marinara sauce and shrimp. Gluten-free. So good. They're doing an amazing job with the gluten-free stuff at Trattoria or what it used to be called as Penne. Um, anyways, I got that and then me and Emma went to Skitty to work on our pre-lab together for bio. And then... Emma and I have our last class together, so we just walked there, and yeah, we were kind of late because we were at office hours, but that was fun. Then I headed home, made dinner, changed. These are our fall rush shirts for this quarter. They're so cute. The theme is like groovy, sort of like 70s. Today's dress code is casual with the rush shirt for the active members, so I don't know if you can see, but I'm just wearing like jeans, and I'm wearing my Reebok sneakers. And then these are our, this is class specific. So my class in Rosai, the beta class, got these sweatshirts. They are so cute. They say Rosai, Ada on the front. And then they have a really cool graphic on the back. So I'm gonna bring this and wear this because it's a little bit chilly outside. Because it's so overcast. I'm sweating right now though because I've been like eating and getting ready to go because I need to leave now. So. Yeah, let's go to study hour. class and I go to the grocery store which we need to do so we will be heading to Trader Joe's today. I also need to take a shower today. Uh, in a perfect world I would have taken one on Sunday but I had a midterm Monday so I spent most of the day studying for that and didn't get my everything shower in. So that's what we're gonna do today and then lab tonight at four and then after that we've got meet and greet for rush so that should be fun that's one of the fun ones it's like almost like speed dating is how i would best describe it because all of the pnms kind of like rotate seats after five minutes so they can just sit with every active member sort of thing and they answer these funny little questions so i'm excited yesterday went amazing i don't know if i told you this but um, yeah, info session was awesome. So many girls showed up and um, I was asked to be on the active member panel So I kind of spoke in front of everybody and gave my answers to a few things um, <laughs> I'm running like slightly like 15 minutes behind and the traffic is already so much worse at this time 
sucks. It's okay. I don't have to be on the freeway for that long, so it doesn't matter. But it still is like, ugh. I'm so tired. <laughs> if I can if I have time after class and then after I go to the grocery store and then I come home and I take a shower, if I have time, I'm gonna nap because I'm exhausted. This is the second night in a row where I haven't gone to bed on time. My bedtime is 9 p.m. Which I know is crazy, but I need sleep so bad. So I went to bed at like one this morning and like one yesterday morning because I was studying for the midterm Sunday and then I had that big project for neuro last night. Both of these instances could have been avoided had I not procrastinated on both of them. Um, but that's neither here nor there. And nobody's perfect. So anyways, we are on our way to school. I'm gonna see if there's parking because I'm 15 minutes late and oh my god. People also do not know how to drive here. <laughs> okay, I will see you when I get parked probably. asleep in my class because I'm actually exhausted and I will be taking a nap later um, but now we are on our way home to drop off my backpack and pee and then grab my Trader Joe's bag and then head to Trader Joe's so <laughs> I said I needed these and I in fact purchased them along the same lines These tortilla chips as well turkey for sandwiches Got a southwest salad. I think I'm gonna have this for dinner tonight. I got more of these sweet Mini peppers that I'm gonna cut up and just have in the fridge. I got more pumpkin ravioli because this was so good um, I got this strawberry and raspberry secco Rossini because it was pretty. No, I'm just kidding. We, me and Emma had this before and it was, we had the peach one. It was really good. So I wanted to get it again because I'm hoping they're going to come over. So, and it just is gorgeous. So I'm very excited about that. Next, we got some avocados. They are very not ripe yet. So that's perfect for me because I'm not going to make them tonight. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is, oh. I got some fully cooked pork belly that you just like slice and crisp up and I think I'm gonna do like a pork belly cheese avocado taco at some point um but yeah that's why I got the avocados and then the other avocados that I don't use for the tacos I'm gonna make guacamole because I love making guac so these can stay on the counter do I need to freeze this question mark it says keep refrigerated I'm very excited to make those tacos that sounds so delicious I also got some sweet chili sauce because I have these, I really need to organize my freezer. I have these gluten-free chicken egg rolls and they're delicious, but this is very misleading. It does not come with the sauce. So I got some sauce to go with these because they're, they're good, but they're gluten-free. So you need something to supplement them. So sauce it is. 
dog in my freezer. I really need to organize it better. Okay, I got some salami and cheese. And I also got some cheese, uh, some cheese and some cheese. If you can't tell, I love cheese so much. And I love just like snacking on it. This is my favorite thing ever from Trader Joe's. It's like a Spanish cheese sampler. And I love the Manchego. Manchego cheese is my favorite cheese in the world, actually. So, very happy about that. Oh my god, my cheese drawer is almost full. <laughs> oh no, it's full. Okay. I'm gonna have to do something with the cheese drawer. Please let me here. Um, okay, I got some chicken mini tacos. I talked to you guys about the beef mini tacos and I saw they had chicken this time, so I'm very excited. And they're gluten free. Um, okay, I got some fully cooked chicken. Um, my mom taught me how to make chicken, but I am scared of it still and also lazy, so I thought I would try this. It looks so plain, so I might. Why does it only have microwave instructions? It's crazy. I'll probably season them a little more and crisp them a little in the pan just because they look like they're only oh yeah it's just olive oil salt and pepper flavorful I got some more pineapple salsa because oh I almost just dropped it and shattered it I'm almost done with this one so and it's so good so I got another one and the last thing I got is this chicken burrito bowl which I'm excited to try I think I may have had this before um, and I think it was pretty good. I might actually have this right now for lunch because it's 11.30 and I haven't had anything yet. So I guess let's just make these. Oh, I definitely have had this before. It's like a little bowl and you just freeze it, or freeze it, you microwave it. I think I'm gonna eat this with chips. Kind of like Chipotle, like a burrito bowl. There she is. Not bad. I'm gonna take this and eat it over there and watch some YouTube and I will probably catch up with you when I do something interesting. So, I'm gonna go do that. Hello guys. It is much later, it's 3.18. I took so much longer of a nap than I was planning on taking, um, but that's okay. I think my body just needed it. I did not get to my shower, but that can happen later tonight, so that's okay. Um, right now, I'm like rushing <laughs> to redo my makeup. Um, cause I like barely did any this morning and I wanted to do like a tiny bit more for Rush tonight. This setup is so cute. I have like my mirror down here on my makeup. I should do like some get ready with me because I feel like this is such a perfect like little get ready with me area. I like did one YouTube short and one TikTok for that like in July. I loved it. So maybe I'll do more. But I guess I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what the Rush event is tonight. So tonight's event is meet and greet. Yesterday was info session. And yesterday's event was kind of just like coming and getting info. It was like a slideshow with information. Um, just info session and then people like stayed afterwards to ask questions um talk to active members you know just get info um today's event is called me and greet and previously um it was kind of like a seminar style thing like when i was rushing it was like a little seminar style thing um which was fine but when i became rush chair my freshman year and into my sophomore year i decided to change it to to um closer to like speed dating so instead of sitting in little groups and answering questions um and like moving groups it's now like each pnm which is potential new member um 
sits directly across from an active member and they it's like speed dating basically so they sit directly from an active and they answer questions or answer one question so there's like a slide that goes up and there's a five minute timer and they answer the question that's up on the board and they're kind of weird questions some of them are like normal questions like why did you choose santa clara this that and the other and then some of them are like what's your biggest pet peeve or a music genre that you can't stand or something like that kind of just like fun questions and the speed dating aspect is that when the five minute timer is up the pnm stand up and like move over a seat um and then they're sitting with a new active member and they get a new question to answer so it's super fast like five minutes goes by so quickly is it even five minutes it might be shorter than five minutes it's super quick um i love it i feel like it's a great way to super quickly get to know people i'm kind of sad that i never got to experience it as a rushy um because it looks like so much fun and when i did it it was really like a scary sort of super formal thing we did which i still got to know people but i i literally could not tell you who i was in a group with because it was like a group setting no idea but that's okay so i'm very excited a lot of the last quarter when i was training the rush chair and then the two quarters before that when i was the rush chair um people have loved this whole speed dating event uh meet and greet because it's just really fun and you get to talk and get to know individually everybody not everybody but a lot of people um so got my little fan um yeah so this is one of the two social events that we put on so there's info session monday there's two social events tuesday and thursday and then there's professional development friday <laughs> this is so funny i'm like doing my little spiel from when i was rushed here we had 36 girls at the info session which is so many and i'm so excited i cannot wait for these girls to become part of the sorority i love all of them so far i haven't really gotten to know them personally i've gotten to know a few of them individually and the ones that i talk to i love um yeah i have not talked to everyone though last quarter i was training the rush chair so i did not get to sit in the speed dating sort of thing and be a participant in it because i was training her and helping her through um sort of just getting the hang of it so i'm really hoping because she's got this in the bag now rebecca if you're watching this i love you so much um i don't think she needs any help with this so i'm hoping that i get to is my camera crooked whatever i'm hoping i get to sit and be an actual part of the speed dating because I've never done it and I really want to and I really want to get to know these girls super well so fingers crossed <laughs> but before all that can happen we've got to go to lab I think lab is going to be pretty short today um because our pre-lab was not a uh, whole new procedure you know for the next lab it was actually our lab report for our last lab so i'm really hoping that we're just like writing our lab report in this lab that would be great because i already completed my lab report that would be awesome because then if i get out early which i'm hoping then i'll have more time in between lab and meet and greet to eat <laughs> um but yeah i love bio lab i love it i love lab in general i love my chemistry labs i loved my physics labs uh but i hated the physics lectures but the labs are really fun labs at santa clara are oh i'm literally using the wrong mascara i need to throw this away this is like basically empty i don't know why i'm using it still this is the new one i'm like why is it not coating my lashes there we go um labs at santa clara are so nice because they're almost all in a cdi or skitty which is the brand new my freshman year science building that cost like eight million it was definitely not eight million it was like eight 
billion dollars or something like that and it costs like a million dollar for every palm tree they planted or something i don't know we were like, making fun of it my freshman year because it was so much money but it was all donated from the sobrato family because it's called scdi because i think it's like the sobrato campus for discovery and innovation but people students just called skitty well i don't like the way that the bottom mascara looks what are you gonna do um, anyways, I'm gonna let these dry for a second before I mess them up. Oh no, my battery! Okay guys, my battery just fully died on me. Um, anyways, what was I saying? It doesn't even matter because I'm literally running out of time. It's 3.30, I have class at 3.50 and I gotta get there. So, or lab at 3.50. Um, I was gonna be so on time, I was gonna do extra homework, I was gonna do this, that, and the other thing, and then... I literally slept for so long and then when I woke up I turned off my alarm instead of snoozing it which is always a bad idea and I need to like really get out of the habit of doing that but anyways <laughs> that was my little get ready with me for bio lab <laughs> and rush I literally did not wash my hair so we're gonna have to figure out something with this. Maybe I'll do, I think I'm gonna do like a little claw clip maybe. I don't have my brush, it's in the bathroom, but we're gonna make it like a little messy look. Anyways, the back of my head is so tangled because I was sleeping. That is gonna have to do and it's gonna be messy, but it's cute. Well, you have to tell me if it's cute, and if it's not, I don't care because I can't see the back of my head. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. And now I gotta put pants on, and I gotta get out. So I will probably talk to you either when I'm in the car or you'll see by a lab, you'll see something. I don't know, but I'm late, so I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> right now um i had a, a little bit of a situation that i just had to come home for um but we are good now and i'm just editing this video i'm just starting to edit actually because i literally haven't edited anything because i've been so busy um but yeah i don't know i don't know when the last time i talked to you was but um our plan tonight some things we need to get done is uh i need to make dinner i need to shower and i need to clean up a little bit um and i need to edit so we will see how much of each of those get done because i if you can't tell from my voice i'm feeling very tired like really really tired so i'm gonna try to get to bed by nine um which doesn't leave much time because it's 6 30. so 
Anyways, I don't think I'm gonna work out today. I was supposed to, um, but I just don't feel like it. So, I'm not going to. For dinner, I think I'm gonna try to make some pork belly tacos with avocado and cheese. Um, I picked it up from, I think I showed you, I picked it up from Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna try to make those tacos if I feel up to it, which I'm hoping I am because that sounds delicious, but I need to get some editing done for a little bit longer first, and then I will make some tacos, probably clean up, and then take a shower and get ready for bed, and if I have time, I'll edit some more. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just chilling, doing some editing, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to see you again tonight, depending on how tired I am, I'll probably show you my tacos, but yeah, I will see you whenever I see you next, so yeah. much later now it's like 8 30 keep still yelling um i'm so tired i was i ate my food i didn't eat all of it um it was really good the pork belly is delicious um but it was just very salty but yeah it was really good though um like the two tacos i ate were really good but i literally can't eat more than that <laughs> and this is the gorgeous mess that we're left with so now i have to figure out if i am going to clean that up right now or not because i need to clean like my place as a whole it's kind of messy like this isn't that bad but the bedroom is looking pretty messy um and then hallway area it's not bad i s literally still have clothes in the dryer from like two days ago that i just have not unloaded yet um bathroom's not bad just kind of some stuff on the floor and then gorgeous kitchen again so i don't know i just have to decide if i'm doing that tonight or not <sighs> i'm so tired and it's only Oh, it's because this is my bedtime because it's 8.40 and I go to bed at 9. So, anyways, I think I'm watching the kind of... I think I'm going to end it here today and then I will pick up tomorrow morning. <sighs> Love you. See you then. Thursday. It's like almost not morning anymore. It's 11:45. But this morning, my class got canceled. Well, it didn't get canceled. It just got moved to Zoom. So I got to sleep in an extra hour, which was really really nice. And um, I just had my class on Zoom this morning. I look so pale in my mirror. I don't like this pale. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, today. It's Thursday, and on Thursdays I only have one class, which is the class that got canceled this morning. So, or not, sorry, moved to Zoom. Um, so that is the only class that I have on Thursdays. But what I also have on Thursdays is work from 1:30 to 5. So it's a pretty long shift, and I am proctoring. I used to 
like to proctor way much more than I like to do front desk because I just wasn't very confident at the front desk answering questions, answering phone calls, all that kind of stuff. So I just like only wanted to be proctor. But now that I've been here for a little bit and I know more now, I am wanting to do front desk more than proctoring. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get them to change it because it's like it's end of week four now and we kind of like set the schedules before the quarter starts so i'll probably just be stuck proctoring for the rest of this quarter which is fine i do front desk on wednesday mornings so i've got one front desk shift which i really like that one's my favorite but yeah i just like proctor on all the other days and times which is fine it's just boring <laughs> and i think that's why i liked it before because it was um easy ew what is on this brush gross okay something went wrong with my makeup so i'm gonna take it off and we're gonna start over so hold on okay i don't know what happened that was kind of weird um i don't even remember what i was talking about so yeah i've got work today until five and then oh i totally forgot Today, we're having like an office, like, not party, just like event, but it's like open to the student campus. Is that what it's called? Like the student population. Um, because we're doing pumpkin painting. So Molly got a bunch of pumpkins and paint and stuff like that. And the OAE, which is where I work, is hosting like a pumpkin painting party. So I totally forgot about that. I'm very excited. And then after that, because I can only stay for maybe an hour, because I work until 5 and it starts at 5, so it's fine, I'll already be there. But I can't stay till 7 because we're having a rush event tonight for Rosai. Tonight is community service night, which is a super fun night. Um, did I tell you guys how yesterday went? I don't know if I did. If I did, well, I mean, if I didn't, then it went really well. It was fun. It was crowded. <laughs> there was a lot more girls than they thought were going to show up. Um, which is kind of a good problem to have, so, yeah, it went well. Tonight is community service night, which means, so we partner with, I think it's the Ronald McDonald House, and we do, um, cards for kids, so we all, you know, we get colored paper and markers, and we make cards for, uh, to be delivered to kids in hospitals, um, just to kind of, you know, cheer them up, brighten up their day, um, there's, you know, like a bunch of rules we have to follow when making the cards, um, but yeah, I love community service night. It's fun and we do it in Graham, which has, it's the same building we did, um, meet and greet in, and it's in Graham, which the classrooms in there have, like, instead of chairs and desks, it has, like, these chairs with the desks attached, but they're on wheels, so you can, like, wheel around, and, um, it's really nice for meet and greet because we just had, like, everybody, like, rotate one so they could talk to the next person, rotate one so they could talk. And, um, yeah, so we're doing that again for community service so everyone can just kind of roll around and talk to each other while they're making their cards. Um, but yeah, that goes from, I think, 6.30 to 7, maybe 7.30. Um, so I need to be there at 6.15, so I'll be at the OAE pumpkin painting party from, like, 5 to 6 which is a good hour, which I'm excited about. But as of right now, I'm usually, on a typical Thursday, I go to my class in the morning and then I come back here um, and make myself lunch. But I didn't go to school today, this morning, so I'm just kind of taking my time. I do have a Spanish assignment that I have to do. It's like, uh, I have to talk with somebody like across the world for like a foreign language sort of like, speaking experience so I have to do that at 12 30 it's currently it's currently noon so I think that I'm going to do it here I was debating on whether or not I was going to go to campus and do it there but I'm just going to do it here and then after that I will head to work so I've got about 30 minutes to just like get myself dressed and ready because I need to leave pretty quick after the Spanish thing. It's only 30 minutes, um, which is fun, but I'm starving. I need to eat. My outfit for tonight, so tonight's dress code um, for Rush is business casual. 
for the past two events it was casual tonight it's business casual and tomorrow it's business professional so it kind of gets like more and more professional as you go and then once you do the invite only events those are also um business professional i think um so tonight i was trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear because i have a lot of like i have a lot of work wear just from like when i rush rosai and also just being in rosai and interviews and things like that so i've got a lot of work wear um i recently got a new like set that i'm very excited about which um i got two sets one of them is a like slacks and cropped blazer set and it's so cute it's like a really pretty light brown color and then the other one is like a slacks and vest set and that one is like cream and gray pinstripe with like black buttons it's so cute so i was deciding between those two because the pants of the striped one are like almost like it's like a linen material so it's a little bit more casual and then the um blazer for the brown one is cropped so it's also like a little bit casual so i was deciding between those two and i decided on the vest set um just because i didn't really want to wear a blazer even though it is cropped which makes it more casual i felt like i was still gonna be um more overdressed than a lot of people so i just decided to wear the vest set and then during interviews i think i'll bring out the other set with heels or something just to dress it up a little bit um but yeah i'm excited i have to decide right now whether or not i'm going to be wearing this outfit all day at work and at the party before I go to the event or if I want to bring it in a bag or maybe like I just don't want it to get wrinkled or anything but I guess it will if I'm wearing it all day too so I kind of want to be comfy I am hungry what can I make I made myself pasta was that last night or the night before I made myself ravioli and I meant to save half and I literally just devoured the whole thing so I unfortunately don't have any I unfortunately don't have any of that to have for lunch, so I need to figure something else out. I got some sandwich meat at Trader Joe's, so maybe I can make myself like a cute little turkey sandwich with cheese. I've got a selection of things I can make, so I'm gonna get dressed and then I will see you probably when I'm making lunch. I just had my talk abroad session that's what it is it's called talk abroad and um he was so nice the guy that I spoke with we are our chapter we're working on right now is about school la escuela and so we're working on that and we talked about um his schooling my schooling he's from Nicaragua and um like the differences between school there and here yeah it was pretty good it was only 30 minutes so it's pretty quick but I didn't even get dressed because I was making my lunch and I got carried away. It's time to get dressed. It's 1 o'clock. I have work at 1.30. So we got to get dressed and head over there. And I got to figure out what I'm wearing. So I will probably show you what I'm wearing before we leave and I go to work. I'm probably not going to have much, you know, clips from work because I it's a lot of... Um, like sensitive information because they're working with students with accommodations for disabilities so i don't tend to show you guys what i do there just for you know privacy reasons but i will definitely show you um the pumpkin painting party later alliteration pumpkin painting party and um definitely rush so i don't know exactly when i'll see you again but yeah i will see you when i see you right now i know i told you i don't really film at work but i'm in the proctor room and the last person just finished their exam so there is nothing there's no students in here and there is no sensitive information so um i am currently ordering pizza <laughs> that's what i'm doing for the pumpkin painting party later i told you about 
um thought that was funny that i'm ordering pizza during work but i don't i'm currently editing my video right now that's what i'm doing but yeah i don't know what else to say i just thought it was funny that i was ordering pizza during work in the proctoring room um anyways yeah <laughs> i'll probably see you when we actually have the pumpkin painting party it's 3 23 right now and it starts at five so oh my god my computer's dying great great anyways i'll see you then Once again, we are running late because I turned off my alarm instead of snoozing it. So it's currently 7.24. My alarm is going to go off in a minute because I need to... I usually leave the house at 7.25. So let's just get going. Oh, there's my alarm. Then I have another one that is going to go off at 7.30 telling me you better be in the car which I don't think is gonna happen but anyways good morning happy Friday so happy it's Friday I only have two classes on Fridays my third class on Monday and Wednesdays doesn't meet on Fridays um, which is super nice he just has us like send him a reading question during the time that we would be in class um, which is super nice because it's my last class of the day on Friday so that means I get to go home after 1140 or er, after 1250 on Fridays which is awesome not today though today we have a very busy day planned so I've got work at 8 a.m. And then we've got bio, we've got Spanish, and then usually I would just go home after Spanish on Fridays. But today I am doing a almost like an accommodations event through the OAE, and I am going to be reading placards and signs for the visually impaired at this event. So I guess Santa Clara, like the business school puts on this event which I had never heard of until this year but apparently they do it every year and it's kind of like um shark tank so like a bunch of local not local but just like investors and business people in the area come out and are pitched ideas I don't know it sounds cool they described it as shark tank I think it's called Santa Clara sharks or something but Anyways, I would never go to that normally, but I am today because I am reading for the visually impaired. Kind of like food cards and why is it focusing on my bed instead of me? That's a really interesting question. Um, so I'm reading like food cards and signage and things like that and it's, yeah. So it's from like 2.30 to 7, so it's really long. And right after that, at 6.30, is professional development night. So I'm going to be wearing my um, professional attire for professional development night to this event, which is fine because it's like a, it's like a business networking event. So everybody's going to pretty much be in business casual anyways. I might be a tad overdressed because I will be in business professional, but... I feel like it's better to be overdressed than underdressed. And I'm wearing all black, so I feel like I'll just look like a staff member anyway. I've got my outfit hanging up right there. And I've got like my shoes and my bag. I'm actually going to be sitting in on professional development night tonight. Which is so awesome because I have... I have 
sat in on it before when we just like we had so many girls show up we just needed exec to also um be in on it but i was never oh there's my one i was never like planned on being in it kind of so now i'm actually they're like planning on having me in it which is super fun and i'll get to experience it for reals i'm debating on whether or not i want to bring my makeup and my curling iron and like touch up my hair and makeup before this event or if i'm just like i don't care like i'm fine i feel like i might as well just bring it i'm kind of excited to go to this like shark tank event because it's not an event that i would normally go to so it might be kind of a fun little opportunity to experience something who knows it sounds cool but it sounds like it's gonna be very testosterone heavy unfortunately we are only like five minutes behind schedule which is way less than i thought it'd be so let's get going my camera's so crooked i really hope that whole thing wasn't extremely crooked Nar dented. I'm gonna go finish recurling a few pieces of my hair and then we're gonna get going. So I'll see you. Mm -hmm. 